What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do what you don't see coming for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Taurus. What's up Tartar? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So Taurus, I'm going to do what you don't see coming. I am going to do two different sides to get two different perspectives. So, sometimes it's two different things. So, let's see. All right, Spirit Taurus, what don't they see coming? Oh, you got two. Okay, bottom deck is anchor. Have faith, choose optimism. Stay positive, okay, is what I want to say. Sea glass and helium, that's why. All right, you have your future is being rewritten, metamorphosis, and take charge, responsibility, leadership. Your life is, you thought your life was going this way for a certain amount of time, and now it's going, it's going to go this way. And I feel like the change is going to really, I don't want to say drastic, but I feel like it's going to be so different than what you're used to. But I feel like you have to, um, and you're going to be in charge. And it's like, but you know what the good thing about this, Taurus, is that you're going to you're gonna be driving the car. So even though you're driving the car in an unknown area, you still have control because you're driving the car. Okay? So you still have some type of control about how this goes. What is the sea glass and helium? Oh, they just want me to, okay. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let what has happened in the past hold you back, boo-boo. You better, you you better go on that. You, 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 you. <laughs> All right, make sure you don't allow the past to hold you back. I don't like that there. I feel like um, somebody might try to interfere with it. I feel like there's a new beginning coming for you and someone might try to interfere. It could be a Leo. What is the sea glass helium and don't let the past hold you back that Taurus doesn't see coming? You have the three of cups in reverse. The Emperor, the Devil, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Could be an Aries. Um, I feel like, I feel like, uh, what is this Devil? I feel like you've walked away from something. But there's something that keeps wanting to draw you back. I feel like this person wants to draw you back. Could be an Aries, like I said, doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like you're holding on to the fact it's like you're you don't have any you don't have any more you don't have any emotions for this person or this thing. I feel like it's a person. Um you don't have any like it's like you're holding on to the fact that somebody walked away or you I feel like you walked away. And you're holding on to that. You're just like, I don't have any emotions. I I left I my emotions have left the building. And this person's like, no, come back. Baby, come back. Where's this devil? Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Nine of Wands. This person, this person is in denial. Could be an earth sign. This person, I'm gonna be honest with you right now, Taurus. This person doesn't even want to be with you. You're not their wish. They don't want to take care of the connection between you and them. And they have their wall up. That's why it's the devil energy. It's negative energy because this person does not want to be with you, but somehow still is tr it wants to come back because I feel like they just want to have some type of control over you. You know what I'm saying? Three of cups in reverse, four of cups in reverse, and the five of wands. And you know this. Definitely could be a Leah with the sun card here. You know this. You know that this person is all drama. You know that they don't have the best intentions for you. You know that. So keep moving forward. Like I said, I knew that the past... It's gonna try as soon as, as soon as you walk away, they're gonna be like, Wait, Tar Tar, where you going? And you're gonna be like, To Kansas, and you can't come. Sorry, it's a two seater. <laughs> and I already have somebody in my in my passenger. <clears throat> Where's my water? Oh, it's over there. All right, I'm gonna get it after. Okay, let's see. Tar and Spirit, why don't they see coming? Some of you guys might get emotional about something. Contemplation in reverse. You're going to make up your mind. Finally. No, let me stop. <laughs> you have free spirit in reverse. Yeah, you felt trapped for a while, but you're making up your mind. Fiery climax approaches. Could be about an Aries. 
Oh, you're trying to go after. Oh, six of wands and the queen of swords. You want to go after something. You better go get it. You better go get it. What is this contemplation? And a fiery climax approaches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seven of swords, though, at the bottom of the deck. You have the queen of pentacles, the high priestess, the knight of cups in reverse, and the ace of swords in reverse. I feel like your intuition is like, nurture this, take care of this, love this. Yes, Taurus, do it. And I feel like you're just like, how do I do that? How do I start? Where do I start? Right? Um, but it's like you have decided, okay, that's what I want to do. But I feel like you don't know how to do it. So I'm swords, the two of wands in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and the knight of wands in reverse. First of all, definitely take a leap. Okay, of faith is what I want to say. Go, take a leap of faith. Do it. You you know, you don't know how it's going to turn out until you do it, is what I want to say. Um, release these fears. Why don't you see it coming? It's going to be a very spiritual, um, it's going to be a lot better than what you think with the hermit. It could be a Virgo. Um, I feel like there's not going to be a lot of stress. There, there's going to be communication. Like, um, it's not going to be as bad as you think, is what I'm getting with the hermit there. Um, I also feel like, Um, you have to release control, Tars. Is what I'm gonna is what I'm gonna advise you to do. Cause I, it's like you want to go towards something. You decide you want to go to something. You want to give something, but you don't know how to do it. And you're really indecisive. There's a lot of fire energy up in here. You could have fire in your chart, or be dealing with one. But um, there's gonna be somebody else trying to figure out how to offer you something and they don't know how to do it um they're definitely hiding this from you like you don't know or you're hiding this from people like people don't know that you want to do this that you want to go towards this aries that you want to you know take care of this aries here um and this is like there's something about your plans or something about like it's just like not the right time. Like things just keep it's like maybe every time you decide to do it, like something happens where you can't or fall, plans fall apart. The universe is telling you don't try to control it. Allow it to happen when it's the way it's supposed to happen. Definitely take the leap. It's like plant the seed and see if it grows. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to make it work in a certain way. Like I feel like you're trying to you're trying to do it in a certain way, in a certain way, and it's like that certain way isn't isn't working. So it's kind of like I feel like you're trying try a different way, try a different way to do something. But I feel like with the fiery climax approaches, the universe is like, yeah, go for it. Like fly towards there, fly towards there. Um, is what I'm getting to be honest. All right, Taurus. All right. That's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.